I don't have my hands in it as much as I did. No. Um, but actually, in terms of teaching, I think sounds like a rather old lady thing to say, I suppose. Um, the kind of teaching, if you said, what would you really like to do? What's the best? It is actually just reading a bit of Latin with some relative beginners. Um, and just kind of going any place you want with it, but actually from the original language, not from, you know, getting them really just to get their their kind of noses dirty in the text. You know, from not from being, you know, I'm, I'm not very good at explaining, you know, from, from, you know, absolute 101 what a nominative is. But, you know, when you get up a little way, um, there's that in some ways, you know, helping people to, or enabling people, perhaps you'd say better, to use the kind of linguistic skills they've got, which they will feel are deeply inadequate, to actually prize apart something that they then find intellectually interesting. That, I mean, uh, that's the kind of teaching that I would prefer to any other. Partly because I think that there is absolutely, undoubtedly, a really important role for reading things in translation. And I think everybody, everybody who says there isn't is a bloody hypocrite, you know? How do, how do I read an awful lot of Latin and Greek texts? I read them in English, don't I? You know, so let's not be you know, holier than that about it. But I do think that as soon as you get to university level, um, there is something which is you're simply missing out on the intellectual fun if you have no access to the original language. I mean, you know, Greek is you know, the Greeks are different if you read them in Greek. They are just different. Um, and you know, how do you read even begin? Even if you just struggle with a few sentences of Tacitus, it's really worth it. It's written is different from reading it in the Penguin. And one of the things that I do most years is a um, a session at Cheltenham Literary Festival with um, Llewellyn Morgan, who's at Oxford, and Peter Stothard, who used to be editor of the TLS and the Times. And we do a session called How to Read a Latin Poem in Latin. And most of the people who come last, we did it a few weeks ago, we got you know, an audience that was over 250. And we, we read Virgil Eclogue 9 in Latin. You know, I haven't read Virgil Eclogue 9. And it was Llewellyn's choice, and I thought, is this wise? You know? Eclogue 9 in Latin with people who've got might have had a little bit of Latin once. What is amazing is that if you help them and you get a kind of parallel translation and, and show them how the language works, you can really take them someplace using the Latin language, which is both deeply satisfying and also is different from if you're just doing it in English. You know, you're literally thinking that this is a different, you know, just the word order, for heaven's sake. You know, the, uh, you get a whole load of people, you know, it's Cheltenham, you, know, you probably don't know much about Cheltenham, it's kind of slightly posh town. And there are a lot of people there who probably haven't done Latin for about 40 or 50 years, and when they were taught it, they were taught of it as a kind of crossword puzzle. You know, first of all, you look for the verb, and then you try, and I was taught it, you look for the verb, and then you look for the subject, and that's your start, and then you fit everything else around it. You know, nobody had ever said to them, you know, the flexibility of Latin word order is just so significant and so meaningful. So now let's look at it in poetry. And, you know, I, you know, it's tough, but the, the pleasure of doing an eclogue in Latin with 250 all comers is it's really good. It's really exciting. Yeah. Yeah, I think. I mean, I think so, and I think it's it's also an attempt to sh to kind of, in a sense, demystify it. Now, I think it, you know, in a way, you might say it's a bit misleading because if you say, "Well, I know what I'll do. I'll go and get the eclogues in Latin now after we've done this," you know, and you know that you'd have trouble. Um, but it's just that you know, Latin isn't a barrier to you understanding this. It's the opening to you understanding it. You know, the English is more of a barrier. You know, because you've suddenly 
translated these kind of really awkward, difficult, rebarbative, edgy political eclogues into kind of, you know, Daphnis and Co. strumming on their bloody liars, you know? Um, and so th it's the translation in some ways the barrier to you enjoying it, not the Latin. Well, that's the pledge. It's, you know, and of course it's an exaggeration. And as I say, you know, you know we'd, all, we'd all be complete hypocrites if we were to claim that we read everything in the original. But reading it in Latin is always different, all Greek. <laughs>